Hi hey guys, in this video we are going to discuss how to set the default credentials, right? That is for the dialog flow we required. Uh, similar to that uh, we did for the Node.js and this time we are going to do for the Java using Eclipse, right? Uh, the steps are pretty much simpler to that what we did for in the Node.js. But uh, I will show in this video how to do or download manually, right? Uh, the default service account credentials. Okay, so what we are discussing over here, let's say the scenario is, uh, uh, this is a dialogue flow ES uh, tutorial website. Okay, you find that there is a interaction with API is available. You found the code, right? So you copied the code to your Eclipse, right? Uh, and you have set the necessary details like the project ID and you passing the test as high. Uh, so if I go back to my dialog flow, right, uh, this is a project ID, right, uh, over here. And when I pass hi, I'm supposed to get a response, uh, something like this, which is the expectation over here. So when I click run Java application run, right, so I'm supposed to get a output. Uh, let me run it over here. Uh, but uh, what we got instead, we got something like uh, default application credential not found and this is a typical uh, error we get that we don't have a environment variable created, okay, whoops, uh, with this thing, Google application credential, okay. So if we go by this logic, right, uh, to set the environment variable, right. Uh, we have to first download the service account. So for that, what we will do, we will go to the dialog flow. In the dialog flow, we will go to the setting. Uh, you will see the project ID over here, right? So once you click over here, uh, so this is your dashboard. This is how you look. It's look like. So you will go to your IM and admin. Okay. Oh, sorry API and service and go to the credentials okay now since this is for the dialog flow right so there will be one associated account already been created uh, for the dialog flow right so if you scroll down you will see that there is an account called app spot uh, g service account.com this is for uh, app default service account right so what I will do is I will click over here. Once it loads, okay. I will go to the keys. Oh, am I doing something wrong? Oh, no, 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 sorry, 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 my mistake. Not to the scratch IT, because this is the engine that I created for the fulfillment. You have to use dialog flow, GL, means ignore the whatever that is. So consider the dialog flow one, which is there in the front, right? So this is for the dialog flow integration they have already mentioned over here as a name. Now in this, we will go to the keys and i will click on add key and create new key and it gives you two options uh, i will select for the json and i will click create once that is done it will download me one json script okay and now what i will do uh, show on folder i will cut it i will go to my dialogflow es folder and from here, uh, I will copy this. And since I'm running it as a Java, right? I will go to the run configuration. I will go to the environment. I will click add. I will paste it over here. And I will go back over here. Copy the path as a value slash. And this is the JSON that we have received, right? 
I will paste it over here click ok apply and run now this time we are supposed to get the output so if you see now that this time we have got the response back so this is one way to set the default credentials or the service account credential another way is you execute all this command uh, and what it will do i have already shown this thing in the previous video uh, but what exactly it does is it uh, automatically log in for you using g cloud uh, this is we are doing from the command prompt right and this is something like the output that you see right so once you click on the g cloud or you enter right it will create one url it will ask you to log in to the same uh, credential you you use to create the dialog flow okay then uh, if your project is set to that one where your dialog flow is there that is all good if not uh, then you have to run something like g cloud config set project with the project ready that you are using for your dialog flow uh, for me it was something like this right uh, so after it is done uh, it will you have to something do like this uh, g cloud auth application default login so what it will do it will download the credentials for you that we did manually but it will do automatically for you and what it will do it will download it to this location okay uh, so if I go to now it now it is not there because I have deleted it so uh, that file will be created over here which is nothing but the same file that we downloaded over here means not the same file as a content but it will have the same permission so so yeah uh, if you want to know about that uh, commands that I have run it is mentioned in my github I have given the details about the other video where I have explained about this uh, in the description section also the github link is also mentioned in the github section and I will also paste the link to this code uh, which you can use which i have used uh, to execute the code so yeah thank you for watching the video